Hello, it's Miss Nancy here. I hope you are ready for another lesson from the Mystery Bay as we continue our study on the armor of God. Now, so far in our lessons, we have talked about the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. So, I wonder what item of armor will be represented by what's ever in our mystery bag today. So let us take a look. Hmm. We have a pair of sandals. Now these sandals represent the third piece of our armor, which is the sandals of the gospel of peace. Now, how many of you are wearing something on your feet today? Could be just socks, slippers, or you could have on your shoes. Well, we wear shoes and socks for many reasons, but mostly to protect our feet. You know, it's nice to have warm socks on a cold day. And if you think about workmen, they wear heavy boots, and most of those boots will have a steel toe. Now what it does, it protects their feet. Like if you're in construction, there may be nails laying on the floor, and you definitely don't want that going in your foot. Or a large heavy object could fall on your foot, and that would hurt. So that's why they wear their special shoes. Athletes also wear special shoes to protect their feet, but also to help them do their best. If you watch football, you know that the football players wear special shoes that have cleats. And that helps them as they're running up and down the field so that hopefully they don't slip on the grass. Dancers and skaters also have to wear special shoes. Now, even our soldier could not go far without the proper shoes. So therefore, the Roman soldier's feet were fitted with sandals that were called Caligai. Now these sandals protected the soldier's feet during his long marches into battle. And besides that, most of these soldiers were known as foot soldiers. So their only means of transportation was their feet. Now, these sandals had to be pretty special. So they were made out of three layers of leather. And what they did was they had straps then that wrapped around the soldier's ankle. They also had very thick soles. And attached to those soles were usually one to three inch spikes. And that helped provide the soldier with balance, especially when he had to navigate through difficult terrain. And as you know, in biblical times, there were a lot of mountains and it was very, very rocky ground. Now to survive a battle, it was important then that the soldier had to have sure footing. So his sandals were very important. Think about yourself. For us, if we want to run or jump or even just stand properly, we also need to have the right shoes. When we are equipped with our sandals of the gospel of peace, we are ready to take a stand for what we know is true. And that is 
the good news about Jesus and what he has done for us and how much he loves us. These sandals are also, as I said, the gospel of peace and the kind of peace that helps us to get by without worrying about a lot of different things can only come from knowing God. So each morning, be sure to put on your sandals because when you're wearing them, they're not only going to protect your feet, but they're going to help you go where God wants you to go so you can share the love of Jesus with others. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for loving us and forgiving us whenever we may do something wrong. Remind us to put on our armor each morning so we will be protected during the day. May we continue to prepare ourselves for battle against evil by reading our Bible and praying daily to you. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for watching this week. And I hope you will tune in next week for another lesson on another piece of of the armor of God. I also would like to invite you to our next Ignite Junior gathering, which is going to be on February 7th. We meet in the fellowship hall from 1230 to three. We have a light lunch. We have a lot of activities and fun and we also have a lesson to talk about. So I hope I see you then. So in the meantime, I hope that all of you have a great week. And until we meet again, bye.